Oh, and beautiful. Most of us uh, spend five to six years to study one course in school, but we never take time to read books and marriages uh, to mm. get us prepared. Um, challenges in life doesn't have a timetable. We prepare ready for it. Um, knowledge and wisdom is the powerful tool to make a marriage work. That's right. Well said. Very key. Okay. I, uh, remember, I remember the first time you challenged me that you, uh, you are just a your parent, your father, father. How many books have you read about parenting? I look left, I look right, I look on, I look center, I say, no, 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 truly, truly, truly. If I study to do business, I study to become a broadcaster, I study, you study to do whatever you want to do. How comparing to the most difficult one? And I choose not to study. I had to change my ways. I started reading about it. Shout so out that's to you. very key. Shout out to you. Okay, let and me take... No, shout out to you. Thank you for saying it bluntly. <laughs> okay, let me take this one. He says, What's up, Lagos? Please, I have a cousin who has been traumatized by her husband. Hmm. Uh, she had a stroke, had to move to her parents' home in Benin to recover. Upon recovery and uh, return to Lagos, her husband has refused her returning to their home or visiting the child in school. I'm just sweeping. Wait, I want to understand something. Your husband traumatized you. You had a stroke as a result of that. You went to Benin to recover. You went, now you're, you're trying to go back to the husband and the husband's refusing you. Wait, what's going on? Things, they happen now. Crazy things are happening. You've not heard that song? Okay. Hmm. All right. I won't lie We'll, we'll I, talk further about uh, all of this conversation. I mean, especially our family. The family say, okay, well, um, let me see. This one here says, I haven't stopped thinking even after the call from the lady because of her story looks similar to mine. But with you guys and uh, God, we shall overcome. What's up, Lake? It's coming from Rosaling. Thank you, Rosaling, Rosaling, for sending your message. And um, uh, man, this is well. Adams here says, good morning. Uh, the tech is what's up, Lagos. Family and religion has glorified marriage to the extent of making it even more important than life itself. Mm. I also have a problem when people say it's because you didn't marry a Christian. That's why he or she is violent to you in the marriage. That's a lie. People used to deceive themselves and that lie should be shut down. Okay. This is a comment I were supposed to take during the family talk. Yeah. But thank you for sharing that. Lots more messages. I think there's a bit that we will take at this time so that we can bring you the family talk conversation on domestic violence and the role families and religious institutions um, have in it. The family, considered the smallest unit in a society, but the most powerful of all. It is where habits are formed and values are instilled one person at a time. For society to get it right, family plays a major role. Get ready to talk family on Family Talk with the Techers. Now on your number one station for talk, 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. It's good to have you join us again. Welcome. This is Family Talk with, with the Techers on Nigeria's number one for talk, 99.3 Nigeria Info. It's still WhatsApp Lagos, don't forget that. Well, for those joining us for the first time, this is where the biggest family conversation happens. We yeah, need a round of applause for that. Yep. Yeah, you're deserving. Deservingly so. <laughs> it is where we pay attention to the family units, which we consider the most important and the most powerful unit in our society so in changing the nation you change the society in changing the society you've cha you've got to change the family and in changing the family it's one member at a time one issue at a time and today we have yet another burning issue on the front burner right we're talking domestic violence and uh it's this is not the first time we've we've talked about this it's not the first time that this conversation has been on the lips of many nigerians advocates uh a lot of people right mm. uh, but this conversation sparked up because of uh the the death of the singer yeah uh, the gospel singer um osina chinwachiku she's not the only one who's found herself in this situation yeah. uh but it really broke her heart because i mean she's a popular figure uh, uh -huh. and, and, and we felt 
she's she's blessed a lot of people with her her talent she's blessed a lot of people with her craft uh, and we never really knew that uh, she was experiencing this and uh, part of the part of the the would i say grievance right of a lot of nigerians tilted towards the religious sector mm. and uh, saying that she 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 was a gospel singer uh, her pastor knew about this her uh, colleagues in the industry knew about this yep why was it that nothing was done could it be that they you know go by glorifying marriage asking her not to leave uh that she should take charge of a home uh, i also shared with you yesterday of this young man who his he was accounting of uh, of how his mom died and his mom died due to his dad uh beating her up and whenever she goes to the pastor to uh complain right Apparently, his father was an elder in the church. And when, was, when they asked, or when the wife asked why he was given the leadership role, he said yeah. so that they could monitor him. Okay. Now, maybe I should read the tweet Absolutely. so that better. we can have a better context of what you know, we're trying to say. So sure. this, is, this is the tweet. He says, my father was appointed an elder in the church uh, by the church council members. The very day I reported to the pastor that my mom was hospitalized uh, because he beat her so severely. My mother was shocked when she heard the news from her hospital bed um, when the pastor's wife came visiting. My mother asked her why and she said, my husband said they gave him the position so they can monitor him closely. That's the pastor's wife res responding to his mom. Okay. Uh, some weeks later, it happened again. My father came back home and started beating my mother for not paying our school fees. She ran to the pastor's house for help. The pastor said, trust God. This is part of marriage. Wow. It is meant to strengthen your love for your husband. Wow. When she was about to leave, he called her back and he said, Psalm 91. And then the pastor's wife added, Psalm 40. That was how my mother returned home to face her horror. Every time it happens, she recites past, uh, Psalm 91 and Psalm 40. Uh, there came a day when my mother ran to the pastor for safety again. That was when pastor gave her the following instructions. Fast for 21 days. Whatever happens within these 21 days, don't be afraid. Recite Psalm what? 91. 91. Take this anointing oil and sprinkle it on your husband's clothes while you recite Psalm 40. 40 now. Yeah. By the end of the fast, you would see God's wonders. That, would that was how my mother would recite uh, Psalm 91 with swollen eyes and bleeding arms while still fasting. Um, okay. Uh, that went off. That went off. Let me quickly get that. It says, the beating didn't stop on the 19th day of the fast. My father caught my mother sprinkling anointed oil on his shirt and reciting Psalm 40 on it. He thought my mother was trying to kill him by rituals. <laughs> mm. And uh, he smashed her head uh, with his bottle of beer. Uh, she fell unconscious and was in a coma for two days. Later, when she opened her eyes, and uh, she said the Psalm 91, she closed her eyes and uh, that was it forever. Some months later, my father got married to another woman. Our pastor, while officiating the wedding, said to my dad, uh, says, behold, all things have passed away. Life must go on. Did you see that? Wow. Uh, so, so, so. <laughs> wow. Um, so even if this story doesn't come out as truthful, there's some contest of truth in it. Absolutely. There's some element of truth. Uh, and and that we've seen this happen, you know, exemplary. We've seen this happen in, yep. in, in marriages where that things like this will happen. You go to the pastor. The pastor will ask you to pray and stick into, you know, hold the marriage That's strong. That's going to make you strong. Yeah, that is the devil's fault and attack the devil, you know, and the likes. And we've seen women go by that and get stuck in the marriage till their very death. Also, coming from the family sector, or coming from the family uh, perspective, we've seen uh, cases where when uh, either party, either mm -hmm. the man or the woman experiencing such tragic, you know, times, mm -hmm. experiencing domestic violence in their home, and maybe it's reported to the family. The family will say things like, hold your home, don't come back here. Yeah. Don't come back home. Stay with your husband. Yes take care of your home your home is your life and, yep. and, and the likes um, you, are, you are the one to make it work you're the one to make it work so hmm. this we can see that these two 
uh, institutions. institutions. They have a huge role to play in influencing our society. And they also do have a, a huge role to play in curbing this menace, domestic violence that has actually eaten so, so deep into our society and, and taking lives and taking lives That's right. prematurely. I mean, absolutely. And it's very sad that a lot of people will be defending rubbish, you know, will be defending rubbish. Anyways, let me know Vex. Let's even bring you in. The first question is, the whole idea here is not to get angry. Even though you want to be angry, you do something about it. So let's talk about how can these two institutions help to either, you know, be proactive to avert, all right, a domestic violence situation or to address an existing domestic violence situation. How should family members, what role do they play in ensuring that you know that there's a home of your family member that is domestic violence? Is it when to say, oh, it's not my business, so uh, everybody's head is on their neck, you know, everybody's roof mm -hmm. is different. I have my own problem here until the person dies and then we all come out and start talking. How then can we arrest such a situation? You know, it, what? where can we find help? How do we play our roles as family members and as religious bodies mm -hmm. or you know leaders of religious bodies right and then i also want us to point out that violence come in different forms domestic violence yeah. they come it, it it takes different forms that's right there's the physical there's the emotional there's the sexual there's the mental hmm. all right and then it is estimated that approximately one in every three women suffer domestic violence and intimate partner violence hmm. from the hands of those who claim to love them and supposedly protect them. Now, this is tilted towards the, the women, women. Because, yes, I mean, course. just like you said yesterday, as much as we want to say men experience this, yeah. there's, there's the high, higher risk of women being uh, 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 the ones involved in this statistics, than, than the men. There's statistics to prove that more women get to suffer violence at home, domestic violence with their lovers, like you mentioned, and the, you know, their partners, much Intimate, more than men. Yeah. That's not to say men to also do not. So in dealing with women suffering, um, what do you call it, domestic violence, we are also dealing with men de dealing with that. Yeah. We're also dealing it with it from a perspective of a man also. Mm -hmm. So it's not just like, oh, men do this, men do that. Oh, women do this, do that. It's a matter of everybody coming, doing what they're meant to do. Right. It's not in favor of. Oh, because more women are this, you know, in favor of one gender or the other. It's not gender-based. It's about us getting it right as a people, irrespective of what gender, uh, you know, we represent. So All right. The phone lines are open. Absolutely. 0700-993-993-993. The female-only line is 01465-7190. How? How can we, and like you said, how can the, uh, the religious bodies... And how can the family sector help to curb this uh, menace indeed? Yeah, you can add also one of those things religious bodies and family members have done should, wrong. should stop doing. Mm. Things yes. they should stop doing, I agree. especially with respect to dealing with uh, someone who's going through an abusive uh, you know, experience, a relationship or you know, marriage or violence-prone marriage or experience or relationship as it were. What are those things you need to stop doing? One of them, Andrea mentioned earlier, we just stop telling people, we just go there. That's how it's supposed to be. You know, you... It's going you, to make it, your marriage stronger. It will make you strong. Now, we, we've got to change that. Come on. All right, the lines are buzzing. The WhatsApp number is 0809-597-5805. And if you want to call us a lady, the number is... 01465-7190. The phone lines are really buzzing. That means Lagosians want to say something today. Ah, <laughs> Hello. Hello. Cheers, Cheers alive. alive. Hello, Rebecca. Hi, yes. welcome. Welcome, indeed. Oh, this is Grace on the line. Welcome, Grace. Talk to us. Oh, uh, what happened? First, to the uh, to the topic on grand. Yeah. So it's not good for men to be beaten woman at all. After just happening to do it, also also nice. Look at the video, man. Just like that. Mm -hmm. He says say that at least all these things we need to talk to our man. When you see that man, woman, you know we woman we have 
some character. She understand. Mm. When we start, you see guys at home. Supposed to just leave us and press and go out. Mm. Before you come back, you see that everything, there will be peace in that marriage. It's not to cause violence in the marriage. It's very, very bad. Huh? Mm. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. also mentioned something about, uh, let's take some more calls. Okay, okay then. Hello. 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 Hi, welcome. What's, What's your up, name? Cheers to life. What's up, you guys? <laughs> yeah. Um... It's Ade from Mugu State. Welcome, Welcome. Ade. Yeah. Thank you. Um, this is a, it sounds like a chicken and egg issue. Like, which yes. one comes first? First, mm -hmm. exactly. Is it emotional empowerment, me, emotional slash mental empowerment for women? Mm -hmm. Or is it from the home, mm -hmm. right? And I think it's both, okay. really. Um, but at the same time, I also think that Thank God for the social media and thank God for the media generally. As much as there are some harmful things that come through there, we have positive things that come through. Sure. The thing is, you can't change other people's minds. That's just the truth. So we can talk about what families can do differently. They will all come out mm. and say, oh, this is wrong. But once they get into their family meeting, it is another different thing. That's mm. right. The mindset is the mindset. It's your own mindset that you can change. Right. That's just the truth. We can all stand here and tell them, you know, let, let them understand. Let anybody who is marrying them understand. Or anybody that understands that, look, if you do, if you touch my child, be it male or female, we are going to settle this thing in court. Mm. That's just the truth. Like, we're going to settle it in court. Like, that's your safest bet yeah. right now. So that somebody will not go and yeah. off somebody. Right. Do you understand? Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. You let them know. And then you raise, you, it also comes with upbringing. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, a lot of times when girls or boys, when they are smacking one another, you people think it's funny. No, it's not funny. Let them know that you don't hit yes. another person. It's right. in childhood. When you, right. when you look away from things like that, yeah. you know, you look away from things like that. You you must not let them understand that you dialogue. Yes. Yeah. Or punish both of them when they are beating each other. Punish both of them. Yes. Like you do not do that. So yeah. they understand that they don't resolve their issues That's with right. smacking one or another. Domestic violence. That's right. Thank you understand. Right. Thank you. Thank you very much. So parents should stop telling children, hit your own back. Yeah. Does that sound familiar? It does. Hit your own back. It does. They hit you. Now came here crying. Are you a baby? <laughs> Is he, does he have two heads? Okay. You, see, you see our head? You see the way we think? Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, Kuku don't think like that, Sha. We <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello, what's up, Lagos? Cheers, Cheers alive. alive. My name is Chief MD. I'm calling from Agbara. Welcome. It's Welcome. good to have you. Uh, look, in fact, truly, truly, I really don't even know how to start this. But uh, let me put it this way. Okay. Any man who goes bashing a woman, beating, beating up a woman, mm -hmm. to me, I look at that man as... Good. I'm sorry. If I sound vulgar, yeah. that man is not a human being. Why should he punch a woman? Why should he bastardize a woman? What for? Hmm. Look, I married a woman for close to 33 years. I never slapped her, I never pushed her. Hmm. If you like, believe it. If you like, don't believe it. Yeah. The highest she got from me if I'm upset is shut up, idiot. And I go away. Hmm. Believe me, that shit of idiot does not last till night. If I if I had said that shut up idiot in the morning, it does not stay on, it does not stay, stay, stay till night. No. Okay. The thing about police, right. It gets away. All right, good. So what's your message to men out there about treating the women? See that that's your line of thought. They should resist. They should stop that nonsense. They right. should just stop it totally. All right. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. I mean, you one minute to more than up. Right. The, the phone lines are still buzzing. Uh, we're streaming on Facebook. We're also streaming on YouTube. YouTube yeah. So you can go on live, drop your comment, and see how handsome Collins is looking this morning. <laughs> and look at that beautiful face of this <laughs> amazingly beautiful lady. Okay. Called Andrea. All right, then. 0700-993-993-993. The female-only line is 0146571190. We're looking at domestic violence, the role of family and religious institutions uh, in curbing this menace. All right. So what should we be doing right? What should we stop doing right now uh, regarding this uh, matter? Do you think that we have been misled? I think this... By what we hear in churches when it comes to marriage. <laughs> that answer is... Do you think we've been misled? Yes, in most cases. Because I think that there's, there's also this conversation about 
what a lot of religious organizations have been doing wrongly, especially churches, been doing wrongly. Hmm. And um, um, people say it's very sensitive. Religion is not something you talk about, you know, just like that and all that. But I think it's high time we started bringing these things to the table, not so that we can, uh, you know, um, you know, invalidate what someone has always thought he was right, but just so that we can address things that were identified as um, uh, um, what do you call it? What do you call it? Um, um, things that have promoted some of these ills in yes. our society and in our families. Right. So yes, indeed, the answer is yes. <laughs> Please turn Hello. down the volume on your radio. Welcome, uh, love. Okay. Good morning. Good morning to you. Um, Please, uh, my own contribution is um, to say something that uh, when they're talking about domestic violence, mm. it's not just only physical. Yeah. Most of the time is emotional, yep. is sexual. That's and right. you know, emotional is so traumatizing. I experience it a lot. Mm. And I can really tell you it's really, really traumatizing. That's right. Because it demoralizing completes you yeah. completely and your partner is not even thinking or blinking hmm. and cannot even come out to say sorry you know yeah it's so it's, it it hurts me deeply hmm. i mean deeply hmm. and every man out there should stop treating their women like in such a manner hmm. okay my only consolation most of the time has to do with my children. Mm. When I look at their faces, I'm comforted. Mm. But not that I'm happy. My husband doesn't physically abuse me, but he abuses me emotionally. Mm. Mm. And I'm not finding it funny. I'm struggling to... It's like you're drowning and you're trying to come out of the water, but you're still drowning. I don't know if anybody out there feel my pain. I do feel but your I want pain. To tell every man out there, it is not fair. Right. It is just not fair. Love, you deserve all the love. You deserve all the love. But you know what I need you to help you do? Yeah. Love yourself first. All right. That's what I try to do. Love yourself first. I yeah. think you need to understand the con concept of loving yourself and giving yourself value and giving yourself respect. So what I think I can perceive, and there's nothing wrong, right? There's really nothing no. wrong with you ex expecting emotional love from your partner. There's nothing wrong with that. But it looks like you are solely dependent on his love towards you. And so it has drowned you so much that you're gradually you. losing yourself. I tell you. Sometimes it's as if I want to go mad. Hmm. Do you understand? It's, right. it's as if I want to go mad. Then I'll just look at my kids. And, you know, my, my older boy is in the university. He will, he will tell me, he'll say, Mommy, I really love you because you're a strong woman. Aww. And I, I just love how you forgive so easily. You know, when he tells me that, my heart melts. Wow. I'm just like... You know what? Hang uh, on there. Let, let's have your contact. We're going on a break shortly. Okay. Oh, just right. on just the stay line. on the line, please. Yeah. No problem. More conversation. More talk. More. Right after this. Chai! I remember when I did off my data up and down because I won't save them. <laughs> but now with it, eh, I did get more data to flesh anyhow. <laughs> How come? Now we'll get more. They do more. And with the new Airtel Data More plan, same 500 Naira will give you 2.5 gigabytes. And with 3,000 Naira, now 11 gigabytes flexing you enter. So, Dell Star 141 Ash now to begin enjoy. Airtel.
most unexpected victories that taught me never to give up. Now you should energize your kids with Milo Active Girl to help them succeed in sports. My friend, why are you running? Ha, Malinus, I did run for my future. The ARM Run for the Future is back and features the only megastar that matters. You. It's going down at 6 a.m. on the 23rd of April, 2022 at Falomo Shopping Center at the Falomo Roundabout, Ikoi, Lagos. Register now at www.rsps.armfunction.com or download the RSPS app from the Android or iOS App Store. The run for the future is supported by Nescafe, Uber, DBA Pensions, and Juicello. ARM, invested in your tomorrow. Good night, Susan. Oh, good night, sir. Hi. You need it when? Okay, uh, we'll get it done. Guys, we can't. We've got to finish the client's order tonight. Tonight? This time? How about some top tea to cheer us up? Tea? Top tea. Only one bag of top tea is too strong coffee. So taste cinnamon flavor. Enjoyment. Great. Friendship and upliftment. Wow, this is gorgeous. <laughs> Taste to know. Topsy. The best things in life are free. Free drinks, free food, free opportunities, free, free, free. You get the point. But just when you thought it couldn't get any better. In comes Genius Free Delivery in Lagos and Abuja. Enjoy free delivery on thousands of products when you place an order above 4,999 Naira in Lagos and Abuja only. So start ordering your everyday essentials today on Jumia. Jumia, your everyday delivered. Someone gave me this script to read. <laughs> but I'm JJ Kocha. I don't know how many words I must read in a minute. I play football. Not Mr. Actor, actor. I don't read scripts. I'm at my best when I feel this. That feeling, that's Becky. Join us at Becky.com. Ramadan is here again. The season with the most benefits from Allah. As you fulfill your religious obligations, remember to safeguard your well-being by sleeping on a Mocha mattress endorsed by the MSP. This season, Mocha is giving away gifts like praying mats with every purchase of mattress. Hurry now. Offer valid while stock lasts. Ramadan Kareem. Mocha. Adding comfort to life. Ramadan. At ShopRite, get all the essentials your family needs this Ramadan, like Cadbury 500 gram bon vita beverage and five Luna evaporated milk for 2,399 naira, 99 kobo. And six Malta Guinness bottles for 999 naira, 99 kobo. Wishing you all a rewarding holy month. ShopRite, lower prices you can trust always. Prices valid till the 24th of April, 2022. <laughs> 99.3 Nigeria Info, your number one station for talk. Let's talk.
We talk about real life conversations happening to real life people every day. This is Family Talk with the Techers. Family is everything. Benny, Benny, since they want to give me title in the Yoruba land, let me be speaking plenty of the Yoruba, so that somebody who just comes, okay, college Teka is the Agba King Amuludun of Lagos. <laughs> like they gave me that title in Ibadan. In Ibadan. <laughs> they say, college Omo Teka is the Agba King Amuludun of Lagos. If that sounds, makes sense, okay, let us know. But hey, guys, welcome back. Yeah, I just <laughs> needed to bring that back. To the family talk we have a very serious matter me i've never ever seen us uh that we're talking about which is domestic violence a lot of people are facing this and um you know we're glad that we have this conversation on radio right our focus taking two so our focus today is what can families do to arrest this high this situation of when there is a a, a perpetrator or there's an happening there's a happening of um violence uh, what do you call it domestic, domestic violence. violence whether it's the man the, the, to the woman or the woman, woman to, to the, the man. man whether it's the child brother and sister whatever it is. what role can the family play to ensure that this happens and also relig- what what role can the religious body yep all right what role can they play in curbing this and i asked a very vital question earlier do you think that we have been misled hmm. uh, uh by our religious bodies do you think that we have been misled I, I just want to ask that so that, I mean, let's understand where this concept is coming from. Why is it that we are having this, uh, let's even look at the root yeah. cause of, you know, having domestic violence coming on a repeated cycle. Yep. And people losing their lives prematurely to things like this. Now, the last caller who said she's also experiencing emotional uh, uh, um, abuse. Now, that I remember I said that as much as we talk about the physical aspect of domestic violence, mm-hmm. there's also the emotional aspect. There's also the sexual aspect. And yeah. trust me, the emotional aspect mm, it's just like you are alive, but you are dead. Mm. That's just how it, it comes up. You yeah. are alive, but but you are you are gone. You're just walking dead. Yeah. That's that's how that's how bad emotional abuse is. can is. Yes. You know. So absolutely. so uh, while we're talking about the physical aspect, there's also the emotional aspect. How can we tackle this menace? It is eating deep into our society, really, and we have to do something about that. Today we're looking at the two uh, institutions, the family as well as the religious institution yes i'm gonna be a bit blunt i've seen some messages there people saying that oh it happens to men too anybody that sends that message i am tempted to think that you are an abuse apologist if there's any expression of that nature because it is not a gender who is doing more or less statistically speaking just to clear your doubts more women around the world especially in africa get to experience domestic violence more females not just women even the girls get to experience domestic violence much more than the men that's not to say men are not also experiencing it so but here's the thing we're not even talking about who is experiencing it more nobody has said that here on the show right so you're bringing that up you're sounding like an apologist who you know you don't beat one before so mm. you want to defend yourself we're looking so, at way forward here way forward not right? being, you know, men also of a, yes we have agreed men also experience it children experience it is domestic violence we didn't say domestic violence against women all right talking about way forward someone here says why there are religious leaders that lack understanding we shouldn't generalize it yep there are lots of churches helping women and men to come out of abusive relationship and marriage and they must be commended for that absolutely Um, uh he says the main root of the problem is conditioning Hmm. Many people will not speak out in the first place, nor will they give you the go-ahead to fight for them. People need to renew their minds too. Uh, there was a case of a pastor advising a lady not to go ahead with a wedding because mm. her husband to be was abusive, and she says, "You are my pastor and not my God." Oh. And she says, "Of course, the quality of children we raise will influence the quality of marriages we produce, yep. and the quality of marriages we produce will determine the quality of children we raise." So it's it's. It it it, yep. it it they work hand in hand. That's right. All right, they work hand in hand. Uh, he says, let's approach it in both ways. Well said, very Thank valid very uh, contribution. This is what we want to hear. All right, let me see. Uh, Sam from Egypt says, "Good morning, Tekes. I still wonder till today what will make me touch my wife. Uh, highest is 
cheating, huh? So that means if she cheats, you're still going to hit her. You're light. <laughs> okay. I will move on as far as a trophy and uh, Istiawu is still in existence. <laughs> <laughs> now what to you? You guys cast yourself, Sam. Okay, then. Uh, Bimbo here says, the tech is Ephesians 5.28b says, I knew someone will still bring the scripture. Uh, he that loveth his wife loveth himself. Uh, the tech is uh, put beat in anywhere you see love it in that verse it's mm. <laughs> it will show you that it's only a madman that beat himself therefore yeah. the man that beats his wife is a madman okay that's what he's good. saying going by bible mathematics yeah good but then again go go back to the calls remember what you said about how it is possible that the men who do this could be a dysfunctional it's something yeah. from their childhood right yeah. yeah could be i said it yesterday that um an abuser also needs help that's right as well as the abused yep they both need help yeah because what we'll be seeing is everyone condemning the act condemning not the act the but person. condemning the person yes so that's where stigmatization comes in yes. also in a way yes you know if an abuser knows that look this is a problem you need help and the society and the family are ready to lend that help for that person to be better which is what is obtainable in other societies mm -hmm same societies yes i think this will reduce right i think it would right the phone lines are still buzzing 0700 993 993 993 the female only line is 01465 hello hello hi hello sorry. good hi, go morning ahead. yeah i'll call before so i need to call back again okay it's pertaining to the first jam you ticket i've not received any messages all right, someone will talk to you. Hello. Hello. Hi, good morning. Good morning. What's up, Lagos? Chest, Chest alive. alive. I love you both so much. <laughs> God bless you. God bless the you. love of God will never depart from your family in Jesus' name. Amen. Again, let's stop teaching people, whether it's church or it's more school, that is like love and marriage is a ticket to go to heaven. Hmm. Because if you cannot do with such marriage, there is no ticket to heaven. Let us stop teaching people like that. And parents, bring your children up with love. Hmm. Because love can cover all these things. Right. Imagine we, somebody you love, you cannot hit him now. Yeah. You teach them how to love themselves and love others. Mm. Eh? Mm. Somebody will be going through hell. You will say, stay there, stay there. For what? Mm. Eh? Is that ticket to help you? Please. Mm. Thank you. All right. Thank, thank you, you very thank much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It looks like that was Grandma Nini. Oh, I'm not Grandma sure. Nini, the way she put it there. <laughs> she put it with so emphatic. Uh, ness. Oh, okay. It's a word I created. Okay, then. It means to put something emphatically. The phone lines are buzzing, really. 0700 993 993 993. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Yeah, it's called that time. This is someone who said my this is for the first time. Please. Yes. Goodness. Well, I mean. We, we appreciate Just tell the line. All right. Please. That's not what we're doing right goodness. now. Goodness. You know, you can send a text message. You get it. You can't be disrupting our flow and the wow. conversation with for free Come exam tickets. On, guys. I mean, now let's, let's. That's a bit selfish, really. Someone will get back to you. If you didn't get your contact, they'll get back to you or send a WhatsApp. Ay, ay, ay. When people are dialing, trying to call. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hello, hey. welcome. Ah, good morning, top of the day to you. What's up, ladies? <laughs> Cheers Cheers alive. Life. Yeah, you know what, Colin? You are the man of God. You <laughs> ought to have a booklet now on okay. what God recommended in marriage. You should have a booklet, and that should be a gift to the bridegroom and the bride, so that they will read it and have it upstairs. They have been reading. They have been reading. Please. I don't what show, can, There should what be can. A, exclusively a booklet for that. Okay. Not really just somebody using his own idea. What hmm. did the Bible say concerning that? For instance, the Bible says, give Caesar what belongs to Caesar, oh. and God what belongs to God. So the principles of God in marriage, those that are married in the principle of God, should be able to keep that principle. That's what made them go in and the marriage. 
and then you you should also voice it out that marriage is not compulsory that you can stay single and be a man of god a woman of god so far you respect yourself as you get to the principle of keeping the body mm. all right are you hearing me that's right but then as you get to say beating a woman you know all this uh, beating beating if you call the man out you may cover that the woman is at fault Hmm. Because I went to a sister house who is a uh, one of the choir. The house was the 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 dirty of the lover is a not to build to more two block of a, a block. Okay. And that is a house where somebody that comes to the house of God thinking thinking is. I just kept quiet. I want to sit on the chair, you know this uh, chair that has a uh, velvet. That so dirty, you know. All right. I just say okay. Thank you, my darling. Okay, All right, thank, thank you. you. But now, that didn't make any sense to me I as don't. far as I'm concerned because I, I want to say something. Uh, so, because the house is on cap, yeah. I should raise my hand to beat a woman. Nah. Now, what she's trying to say is women are at fault for their husbands beating them because nah. one, is either they nag or is either they, uh, their house <laughs> is dirty. Yeah. Uh, and, and you know they, they have the problem, and that's why the man should beat her. Yeah, that's how I interpreted what she said. Though. But I, I, to me, I don't think that made any sense. So the same man who is quick to raise their hand to beat the woman, right? In the, from this perspective, now, if that woman was a, a UFC, maybe an, an Amanda Nunes of the UFC, uh, you know, would say martial artist. Oh God, would, would you? Would you? Would you still raise your hand and say you want to slap the woman when you know that he can put you to sleep in two seconds? No, go and beat Amanda Nunes now. Google Amanda Nunes and check his word. Beat her now. So the thing he has to do with, some people take advantage of the fact that they're just stronger and on both sides, as it were, and they take self steps. We have some WhatsApp messages coming in, but Cardinal is on the line. All right, let's take Cardinal's call. Hello, welcome. Good to have you join us. What's up, Lagos? Cheers to life. Welcome. Balance. Balance. When I want to finish my air can, no problem, Sha. No vex, Cardinal. Uh, hello. Um, you see, the, the, this, this domestic violence I've happened, I have a personal personal experience, you know, something that happened in my family. Okay? Okay. okay. You see, uh, um, um, and why I want to say this is, families should stand up for this. You know, I have this younger sister. Uh, um, she got married and Oh, you know, sometimes like that, she complained to my mom that her husband slapped her. So when the information filtered to my ear, you know, with my brothers, everybody was uh, nobody was happy about it. My two my two elder brothers called the young man, please, oh, Oga, stop it, oh, don't try it again. On no condition, I mean, on no condition, should you try it again. No matter what my sister did, whatever, whatever it is she has done, okay? Mm-hmm. You know, I, I also called the young man. I told her, I told him the same thing, mm-hmm. and that is the end of it. Yeah. And I believe if we didn't, if we didn't give him that note warning. of warning, mm-hmm. you know, that kind of, he, he may have continued from there, and you see, you, you may not know what my sister would have been suffering in that in that marriage. Mm-hmm. Okay, right. so I think families should stand up for this. And condemn it whenever it comes up. Right. All right. It's very, very bad. Very, very bad. Thank you very uh, much. Very key. Yeah. Absolutely, very key indeed. So someone is coming at me saying that why did I say uh, what my madam Ihigwe um, did make any sense? Well, to me, it didn't make any sense to me. Maybe it made sense to you, but I, this is me. Yeah, it absolutely. didn't make sense to me. And and whenever we 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 get information, whenever we we hear people's opinion, we try to make sense out of it, right? Yeah. But for me. You know, that's my take. Uh, absolutely. I mean, you're entitled to your opinion. I'm also, let me even buttress the, the part, what that part of, uh, you know, what she said that, okay, the place was dirty. So because of that, they won't, won't, it's not, I can't even fathom it that that's a reason. If it's dirty, clean it now. Get someone to clean it. Or get someone to clean it. Simple. I mean, I know you will be like, ah, don't tell me anything of how it used to be. Oh. How it used to be is what brought us where we are. There are things we're going to pick from the old and we'll hold on to it because they are, you know, workable. And at the same time, nobody has a template for anybody's marriage or how it should go. If that's how it works for you, fine. But what we're saying is that whatever works for you, let domestic violence be out of the equation. Whatever works for you, don't add domestic violence to it. 
So for you to say that, okay, because the place was dirty and um, a person was bitten because of that, a wife was bitten because of that, and you feel that that is right, that it makes sense to you, you, I, you, I can conveniently suspect that you are an abuser. Apologies. Anyways, let's get back to <laughs> wow, <laughs> um, uh, Facebook. There's a lot some of messages. on WhatsApp. Also. Yeah. So let me see this on Facebook coming from Ola Shizi says the family needs to bring into conversation or need to involve the law institution or organization. OK. Uh, Basi Morris Ekbo says when you're having issues such as uh, this and your pastor asks you to remind um, in the aspect mm -hmm. but when such a thing continue i think you should invite your family members yeah and if there's no any good response towards it please leave the church and forget about the family as the well and go on with your life it's your life that matter and for safety reasons please let let learn from what is happening um thank you and uh, remain blessed coming from maurice francis all right, Maurice Francis, thank you so much. Okay, um, this one says, good morning. The question is, what does the marriage of the pastor look like? Um, okay. Mm. No pastor with a sweet home or marriage would give such advice to a man or a woman being battered by their spouse. Mm. All right, then. Uh, more messages. This one here says, no this and no peace. Marriage is a beautiful thing. In marriage, stuff happens and it takes the two to un uh, in understanding and love to see through any situation that comes up. Uh, the partner can be all good and loving in early marriage, but as it progresses, change is constant. Either chill, uh, Christian home, positive or negative, uh, you just love yourself. Do your best and never relent in prayers. Mm. Many women are abused emotionally, sexually, not only physically, uh, but when the situation seems impossible and threatens your life, please come out in confidence, regardless of whatever people may say. Stay alive for your future. Stay alive for your children. And uh, for God's purpose for you to be fulfilled. Hmm. Okay, more I'm messages. Wondering. More messages are indeed coming in. Um, okay, this one here says, uh, Good morning, Collins and Andrea. What's up, Lagos? My name is Kevin Uwem. Please, my advice for whosoever wants to be a pastor, let them go to Bible school, no matter your qualification. In Bible school, we have courses like marriage and home, mm. pastoral counseling and conflict management, among others. Let them stop giving wrong advice to people. Thank yep. you. Says these would help them to know the type of counseling to give their members. That's right. Good morning, guys. It is funny when I hear men calling and they have they saying that they've never slapped their wife since they were married. You say, is that supposed to be an achievement? <laughs> <laughs> is it? He said, that statement seems abusive to me. Let's do better. <laughs> <laughs> you said, <go. laughs> but there's no sense in that. Okay. Uh, there are, wow, a lot of messages. Uh, a lot of them. Um, okay. So this one here says, what's up, Lagos? From the way this domestic violence thing is going, it is as if it's just in favor of women. Mm. Uh, it says, please, let's all be informed. Men also suffer domestic violence, which we have said before. Yeah. Uh, says, But it's really disheartening that in this African setting, it's always the men that are the culprits. Yeah. This uh, feminists are really taking advantage of this recent happening to shame men again. And it's just uh, preposterous. Hmm. The tech is, please. Let's all be honest amongst the few reported cases. How many times have women been arrested for domestic violence on their husbands? I'm not encouraging domestic violence on women, but let's call a spade a spade. As much as this can happen to women, it happens to men as well. Okay. So uh, This is coming from Obianokis from Okoko Michael. We see your message. Well, thank you the, for the message and um, your opinion is as well respected. Yeah. But we're not genderizing it. It's yeah. just simply domestic violence, whether it's for men or women. And we also talked. We also talked about the different forms. It's yep. not just physical, right? Yep. It goes. It goes different ways. A lot of men have experienced emotional abuse right. or violence, right. <laughs> if you like, as it were, you know, for uh, from from the women. Okay. So. Okay, me here says, cubbing domestic violence is very easy. It should be put to law that any woman woman that verbally abuses a husband yeah. or man that verbally abuses his his wife should be put to six months in prison. Okay. So if your partner abuses you verbally, just recall, take it to the appropriate authorities. Okay. So what happens after the... He arrested for six months. That's what so he When said. he comes back. You see, that's why our society... See, in other crimes, an abusive partner, whether male or female... They can recommend, they can take you to court, recommend your therapy. You go there, you are rehabilitated. You come back, 
and they will not stigmatize. Nobody will say, ah, since that one, he went to be abused, they all yell with it. So that's why society also has a role to play. We should stop stigmatizing people who come out and have a, an issue. Mm-hmm. So that way, even men who abuse women will not hide under the guise of, they won't hide under their ego. Or women who abuse men will not hide under, you know, whatever it is that's keeping them to do it. They can be free to open up and find help. Okay. Uh, this one here says, what's up, Lagos? Uh, nobody's addressing this issue. Most physical abuse is response to emotional abuse. Yeah. Uh, let us, uh, let's, let's use wisdom or we would keep shouting and nothing changes. Uh, the best thing to correct your spouse is not, uh, the best time to correct your spouse is not when he or she is angry. Let us lay emphasis on emotional abuse. We trigger this and women are mostly guilty of this. And when it escalates, we start shouting abuse. Women should control their thong and this ugly incidence will go away. It's coming from Joel from Ikpaja. You see, the, our time is almost fast spent, yeah. but it, it almost looks it looks as though there's a blame game going on yeah. on both, you know, the the, the man and the woman. So it's like looking at it like a gender blame game yeah. ongoing right mm. now. And it's not heading anywhere. Yep. It's not helping us to solve the issue. Mm. Uh, blame game can never solve the issue. It cannot. It can never solve it. It says emotional abuse trigger physical abuse. That's right. So where's the role of emotional intelligence? We need to go on a break. Someone gave me this script to read. <laughs> but I'm JJ Kocha. I don't know how many words I must read in a minute. I play football, not Mr. Actor, Actor. I don't read scripts. I'm at my best when I feel this. That feeling, that's Becky. Join us at Becky.com. Because you find that when you talk about find out the remedy, they learn from where we did. Because to find the easy for me, I want to that is what we say easy way for me. Now licking my NIN to my glow line. Eh, don't tell me, bro. I feel just that I pick up my. SSD code by Dali Star 109 Star. My NIN hash or uh, weekly. I go just text by NIN to 109. I think you also visit glowworld.com slash NIN. to try with all your might until at last you lift your head to kick and slash your arms and legs at bath time to squirm and wiggle across the floor you were born to fall to walk to run to play <laughs> baby you were born to move now go with huggies pants with a soft breathable all-round waistband and thick dry layer for all night dryness huggies pants are recommended by nine out of ten moms for comfort meal that is carefully formulated to retain its creaminess and great taste. Cowbell evaporated milk. So creamy, so good. presents a budget do you know what's in it how much is budgeted for what where does all the money go to 
What roles do civil society organizations play in checking government excesses? Join Budget Half Hour every Friday from 8.30 to 9 a.m. as we guide you to becoming a better informed citizen while answering all your questions. Budget Half Hour, 8.30 to 9 a.m. every Friday on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Make it a date. You're listening to the Family Talk with the Tekes. Where family is everything. everything. Well, we've come to the very end of the show. Um, just like we expected, emotions are high. Now, think about a situation where a, a, a man is abusing the wife physically and the wife is abusing the woman, the emo- man, the emotionally. Man emotionally. So it's all abuse and it's all violence in this in a way. Or well, violence specifically for how to do physical, but it is in a way affecting them and could lead in another way. So it, we understand the emotions are high. We understand that, you know, the blame game is going all around, which has always been the story. We'll not end the conversation here. We certainly have another part. But before I go, you know, I'm going to say this, that quickly. One thing that is paramount to getting things fixed is emotional intelligence. With emotional intelligence, I'm sure every situation can be handled between both of you. All right, we need to wrap it up. The news coming up right now. I am Andrea Odwobi Teke. We're calling Stekes my name. God bless you. God bless our homes. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Bye for now. When it matters most. 99.3 Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at First. For the best of talk. My wife beats me like she beat, I don't know, maybe an animal. A category of females, adolescents, that should not be given back and in fact being forced to give back. Not even once, but multiple times. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. It's 12 o'clock.